Hi, I'm Matt Delanoy, uh, and this is Chateau Guillard from the uh, uh, video game Overwatch. Um, it's uh, roughly 70 to 75,000 pieces. I do not know. I do not want to know. <laughs> um, and I've been working on it uh, ever since early 2019. Uh, it's not two years. Uh, it's uh, uh, roughly six months building, just with a lot of gaps. Uh, what do we have happening out, out here in this area? Well, I, I, I took all the figures that, that LEGO has produced, and, 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 and they're out here battling each other out. Uh, um, I, do, I do have one uh, custom uh, non-Bastion, which, which LEGO only made in, in the uh, full size. It's not fully my design. Uh, I, I, unfortunately, I cannot remember at the moment who, who, who came up with the original one. I think, I think it's a Japanese dude. Um, but uh, I, I did I did brick built a brand new Reinhardt, Hammond, and Diva. Um, particularly proud right, right now of, of the statue in the middle. If you can look at the back, I got a, a, a nice little stone braid work for her hair. <laughs> um, the the newest stuff right now is the all the rock work. Uh, that, that was the last work rock work and the trees. Um, Finally figured out a, a very nice way to have very uh, stable trees. You know, I can I can I can I can, I can beat them up. Uh, they I just stash them in a bag for storage, and they don't uh, they don't they don't fall apart. Uh, I've never done that before. I like the use of these smaller leaves, kind of inserted into the bigger leaf piece, and so it gives a very nice kind of layered effect there. Yeah, and 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 then and then use, using using the stems and stuff to, to secure them on there. I, uh, my favorite part is I actually use a, uh, a Lego broom on the inside to help give it an angle. It, it fits inside a, a, a plate very nicely. Um, the entire thing comes apart in sections. I, I have about th th currently 13 boxes I'm trying to consolidate. Uh, but uh, uh, there are sections like this. This comes apart like that. Uh, um, and then this is, a, this is a, I would say, I'm one of the more medium-sized sections. Some very large ones, very small, total of about 130 sections, uh, including like the, the base plates on the bottom. Um, That's as, very impressive. If you, see, if you, you can see there are places where, where there are seams. You, 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 you can, you can uh, uh, guess where, where, where I take apart. This, this, this entire thing right here is one massive section. Um, this, is, this, this is probably my, my other newest build. I, I used to have a cone. Similar to that one right there, but it was there's a lot of gaps in it, so I decided to, to, to put more more brick into it and just make it solid. Uh, it is, of course, the uh, uh, entire uh, um, Chateau Guillard level from Overwatch. Uh, that is a death match level in, in which everyone just it's a free for all fight, no team team fighting. Um, and uh, I built this because unlike most of the other maps. Um, where, where it's a big sprawling city or something, and, and there's plenty in the distance you can't go to, and I have to, I have to decide, okay, the map stops here. This is an island. I can do the entire island, the entire building, uh, and not leave anything out. One, one thing that's noticeable with this build that looks really nice is the mixing of the, you know, obviously like square walls, but also some nice rounded towers or half rounded sections, like you see with the windows there. So uh, is it difficult to intermix those, and how did that come together for you? Um, I, I, I it's not difficult entirely. I mean, th th this tower right here is is completely separate from creation. I, I can pick it up right now, uh, but, but there's some stuff it, it might dislodge. Um, I, I I didn't like. I'm not entirely happy with with the difference in texture between here and there, but I'm not I'm not, not so much. I'm, I'm gonna redo the whole thing. Um, but I, I do I do I do what I have to. Uh, um, there, there's curves. There, there's there's walls. Uh, um, as, as I went through the, the entire map in game, I, I just figured out which parts uh, um, need to be done in which tiles. So um, curves for that, straights for that. There, there, there are a number of uh, um, corners I cut in, in a sense, uh, but uh, unless you really study the map, you wouldn't, you, you, uh, you, you wouldn't know what they are. Is it easy for you to go through the map and kind of see all the different angles and perspectives as you were working on this build? Yeah, th there's there's a way to 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 
to go on the map without actually playing and just just fly around so, so I can get get all the angles that you can't normally see when you're actually uh, playing and trying to avoid being killed. Um, very important if, if you're sightseeing, not being killed. <laughs> No, that, that's perfect. So when you have a build of this size, which is quite large here, uh, how long will you typically keep this build together before you need to take it apart and then use those parts in other builds? I tend not to take my stuff apart. I, I, I still have builds, for, um, uh, um, layouts from 13, 14 years ago uh, packed away. I, I will occasionally cannibalize, uh, and if I really uh, feel it's, 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 it's outlived, it's useless, then I'll take it apart. But for the most part, everything I've had since since Brickfest 07 is still with me in, in some fashion. Um, I had, had a, a Moss Eisley layout there, and, and I've taken a lot of tan pieces from there, but um, and if, if, I, if I want to, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put it up again. So yeah, this will stay with me for many years. As I said, the, the, the entire layout of, of the map is here. Um, if, if you were a minifigure, you could, you could walk or fly around uh, everywhere from the, the dining hall to the library, uh, all the way down to the wine cellar, uh, which is not viewable at all from any angle on the outside. Um, but it exists in the game, therefore I had to, I, I had to build it. That's just, that's just who I am. <laughs> um, you got some really nice kind of leaf work out here, not only the trees which we talked about, but even just like the vine type stuff going up the building. Yeah, thanks. Um, yeah, Again, it's very important to me to capture as much of the, the, the actual game as possible, uh, uh, just, just because it's, it's very fun. All the different aspects uh, um, present, present different challenges. So uh, I, 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 um, <laughs> the, the, the building itself is, is so odd um, going off traffic there, but, but you wouldn't want to live here. Okay. There, there are very thin walls, no bathrooms I know of. Uh, at, or bedrooms, to be honest, um, but perfect for, 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 for playing in a game. <laughs> the one thing that catches your eye, obviously the, the building's mostly gray, but then these blue roofs uh, look very nice as well. So you've got a mix of what, basically kind of the, the tiles on top and then the, the studded uh, pieces on the outside? Yeah, um, um, and in terms of the coloration, I'll, I'll definitely have to cut Give credit to the actual actual game designers. They came up with a very beautiful house. Again, even if it isn't very livable, very picturesque. And I really tried to capture that as much as possible. I do try if to be consistent with texture if I can. So all the slopes on the sides are studded, including that and the cones, whereas the roof is mostly tiled. There's spots where I can't do that entirely either through uh, uh, um, uh, the actual building uh, needs something else or I just didn't have the pieces, you know. But, but, but uh, yeah, I, I try my best there. Right. No, the, it looks great from all different angles here, and I'm glad you were able to build so much from the level. Even if it's inside, we can't see some of it. Right. It's still very impressive, so thank you. Sure thing.